Tell me. Alright, testing one, two, three. Fee, how is done? We are, we, are, we are testing before we begin. Testing, testing one, two, three. Huh? Alright, we're testing, we're testing before we start. Good night, folks. Good night. Big up, lady. What's up, Len? Yes, sir. Good night. Good night. All right, you've it. Testing one, two, three. Are we good? We got the background setting ready. Good? All right. So let's begin. Let's start this thing going on. Good night guys, good night, good night. We are back, it's a Saturday night and we are live. Take off your audio. Good night, good night. All right, <laughs> we are back guys and this introductory song is the new most freshest Garifuna band out of Dangriga. And they call himself, the government name what? Bossabi. Yes, so Bossabi is our introductory song for tonight. We always have a big up with local artists. Alright, and um, we were in Popkins when? What two were we weeks there? Two weeks. What were we there? Hopkins. <laughs> right? Did you hear what you said as well? I said Hopkins. You sure you said Hopkins? I did say Hopkins. 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 Alright, so it's a brand new band out of Dangriga. Why Dangriga push out the most band? You, know? you get Punta Rebels, when then you, it switched to one. then it switched to what? No, no. Before Punta Rebels, they have songs incorporated. You remember that one day? You don't know, you don't know about that one day. Songs incorporated. Then we gone to Punta Rebels. Then we gone to Punta Kids, right? Then I had Darifuna Kids. Then I had Sweet Pain. Then I have X Band. And now you have Bossabi, the baddest thing out of Dangoya. Yes. Good night, good night, everyone. Yes, man, good night. And the name of this song, name what? One Carla? Where are One Carla? Or a Carla Cool or something? One Carla. Oh, one Carla, all right. All right, so tell us where you're watching us from, guys. We are here, we are back. Um, it is the Ladyville Highlights Saturday Night Facebook Show. This is where we do our updates. This is where we we mention what our plans will be. This is where you can call. All right, feel free to call us. Interact with us. Six two three thirteen seventy three is the number. You got a question? You got a suggestion? We are open to suggestions because yeah. nobody is perfect. This what we are doing didn't come with a with a, a manual. All right, so it is trial and error, and we fix it as we go along. So don't be afraid to call us. But first, tell us where you're watching us from. Yeah, you add to it. The bad All right, hold on. Tell us where they're watching us from. If you want to come on, if you don't really know, you know. 
All right? Uh, so tell us what you're watching like. Yes, go to. <laughs> tell us where you're watching us from, guys. Kim Guy Corazal. Your favorite person from Dubai. Who's that? Oh, Jacqueline is in the building from Dubai. Good night, Jackie. Hopkins, Rhonda Francisco. Good night, Rhonda. Lenny. For a hot point. The, what do you say? That way you have fun. Okay, okay. okay. Philippa Ogales, Griga. That's right. Beverly Price. Price Good night. Marilyn Lopez. Good night. Good yes, ma'am. Sharon Forbes. That's right, Char. Big up yourself, Char, out there. Sharon oh, and Sydney. Yes, Sharon and Sydney. You know, when when I was small, I had a song in. <laughs> my song by Tina Turner. Sharon and Sydney remind me of that song. Every time I think about that, I remember that song. Christina from Roaring Creek. Good night, Christina from Roaring Creek. Jackie, too early for start. What did Jackie say? Why are you telling me what the song is saying? Oh, what the song is saying? Yeah. Right now, I interpret the song for you. Anyway, tell us where the car we from. <laughs> we from the district today. We state today. We town, we village. Monica Bampal, Ladyville. Alright, big up Monica. Charlie, Tampa, Florida. Alright, big up yourself Joan out Lewis, there. 29 hey, 29 pounds to the weight for you. They are the time. Chicago, Charlie, Castillo. Respect from Chicago. from Chicago. Good night to the folks in Chicago. Belizeans watching us from all over. You know, we appreciate it. All right, we Jamalia appreciate it. Elaine from Corozal. Big up, Elaine. <laughs> hey, big up, Pastor Cat. How you doing? <laughs> big up, Mr. Cat. <laughs> That's right, that's our number one blood donor. Stephen yeah. Betancourt, the car for Stephen to deliver Leticia as the blood. Hopkins. Big up Leticia. Uh, <laughs> from Lord's Bank. Who that? Um, Lady, Fra Lady, Lady <coughs> J. Frost. Alright, respect, respect. Oh, alright, Miss um, Jackie. Big up yourself, Jackie Jax. <coughs> Nancy De Paz, Belize. Respect, Nancy. <laughs> Tell us where you call me from. Crawford, New York. Big up yourself, Yvette Crawford in New York City. Teul from Belmopan. Respect, oh. Belmopan. Teul. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> that kick, you know, the kick cars. <laughs> now what? Lady <laughs> Anna Marie, do you say? Anna Marie, do you say? <laughs> Strong Body Siego, Long Beach, California. Good night, Strong Body Siego. What is that? We tongue to go fast out of the brains. Okay. Big up yourself, PG in the house. Tell me. <laughs> Big up Mike from Punta Gorda. <laughs> Let's go. Big up your village, Maria your town. Maria from Belmopan. Respect to Maria in Belmopan, the capital city Una of Belize. Garden, Belize. Farber's Road Extension. Right on the lane. <laughs> Big up Mabel. Why people still name Mabel? Mabel. Respect to Miss Mabel in Camalote. Big up yourself. <laughs> Big up Tan. Big up yourself, Pomona Village, Event Hyde. Yes, man. Lucifer, Korea. Korea. Wow. Good night. Lucy in Korea. Got people all over the place, you know. I know. There right? are people all over Belize. Belize and they are all about. Alright. Um, Veronica Young, always happy from Veronica Kikaka. Big up yourself, bro. All right. Barbara from Dangriga. Respect. Maria from Palmdale, California. All right. 
Lenny G Flowers, we got what? <laughs> yeah, let's feel. Lenny? Hold on, Lenny. Can't you know me the people that think? Big up yourself, all the people in a Baranko and Mr. Braids Duck. No respect. Tell me. Good Marcia night. Marcia Belize. Marcia from Belize. Alright, tell the party what you're from. Lads, bang. Respect, Charles. Why somebody the way that Mars? Huh? Tell you from Mars. Boy, I tell you. Whatever thing the spaceship never reached. <laughs> The starship got up and blew up. So Maloney Hyde Reed. Respect, Miss Mel. Mel and Mark in the building. Good night. Elizabeth Waters, Blue Street. Of respect. Diana Hopkins. Purple Child from Belize. Respect to them. Good yeah, night. Yeah, Placencia Hotel. What? Somebody to watch for Placencia Hotel. Yeah, Why? yeah, yeah. Do the work, man. They follow the watch bullet. You know, the highlights. <laughs> it's uh, the thick guy of the hotel. Why you do the work? Huh? Maybe then it chill. Oh, yeah, it chill. Respect everybody. They call Placencia. Oh. What the hotel near by? They call want this come. When they call me, <laughs> want want this come. Yes. Yes, man. Good night from beautiful culture capital. Dan Griga, me say. Mishka. Hey, for the people in Dangriga, Chris say, when he be there, he get a lot of love for the people in Dangriga. Alright, so all Dangriga people, enough respect, Chris had a wonderful time. The only thing Chris say, he said, he had to jump for a fancy cars, be there at a party, and somebody had a gun and bust shot. And Chris said, he jumped the fence. I like it. Oh. <laughs> but I tell her, Chris, you like danger. So that the right in at the right up your alley. But the man, Chris has gone back to Canada, but I'm telling you everybody, Belizeans at home and abroad, Belize as a whole, as a country, as a people, left an imprint on Chris' heart. For yeah. real. The yeah, man said out of all the out of all the um places he went, nobody gave him love like Belize. He loved Belize. But he's back in Canada, right? <laughs> Big up Sean from Western Pines. Respect. Andrews from Silgrass. Alright, Natalie. Cindy, Natalie Andrews from Silgrass. From in my bedroom. Sorry, they are bed to watch it, you know. Big and up Cindy. Aline O'Brien from Piney. Punta Gorda. I just want to say if you know where that is. Punta. Uh, Punta Gorda is the, the Piney word, right? Yes, man. It's not Piney, we have Piney. Piney, that's the same thing for you. Piney. Alright, Piney. Piney. Correct. All right, good night, guys. All right, still grass in the building. Find right a bedroom and watch me. One, I, well, five more, and we begin. Five more, and we begin our show. Eternal. Nine, thirty five. Five more, man. Come on. Five more people to the panel. Watch you from. And we begin the show tonight. Good night from beautiful Penny. Are you looking at the one there anymore? No, not yet. Oh, okay. What did I do? <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. Hey, good night. I'm worried about Kira. I cried with her today. All right, um, Miss Gibson. We'll speak about that later on. All right. Um, Marie from Fran. California, All right, good night, guys. Good night, good night. Fellow California, watching from ATL Atlanta. Good night. Western Pines. Western Kyle. Pines and Kyle in the Libertad building. Village, Libertad San Pedro, Village, San, San Pedro, Pedro. South, Street. South Street, Belize City. Respect Brian Waters from South. Brianna. Brianna. I don't have to have the have glasses, right? Last one. Giovanni, correct? Mm -hmm. Giovanni San Village Hill. Girl. Southern Smith, good night, Sun Hill. I love the work you guys are doing. Keep on being a blessing to others to make their journey a little Make bit better. better. Amen. Respect and let's start our show tonight. Edna from San Ignacio. Where? Wow. Amala from Eldridge, Toledo. Big up Amala from Eldridge, Toledo. Yes. 
Exactly. All right, let's begin our show. Remember now, the number to call us is 623-1373. You want to call and say something? Feel free to do so. All right, we start the show now. Tonight, I wanted to come like a cane farmer. All right? I wanted to... <laughs> Tonight, I wanted to dress like a canero. All right? Because according to somebody, caneros and people on the south side don't need to go to America. So, I may put on the canero hat. Yeah, and I may have, I may have got somebody to be my passport office, but... It's a skit that we are putting together, alright? So look out for it soon. You like laughing. Huh? Alright, let's begin, let's begin, let's begin, let's begin, let's begin. Alright, so guys, good night one and all. Good night to everybody. We have several updates to make. And um, the first one I want to tell you about is that we have lost Imar, all right. I think Imar passed away was it yesterday. Today is what? So Thursday. All right. So Thursday. Thursday, we got uh, reliable information from the family that Imar had passed away, and I believe he passed away in his sleep. All right. The word is that Betty saw him on the bed. The boy don't move. The boy don't get up for sleep. TP in his sleep. But Betty realized he's sleeping for too long and um, when they went to check or he called somebody to go and check, Imar had passed on. Easy, easy, in a sleep. So we send our condolences to his sister and the entire family, especially to his wife Betty. Alright, um, I guess they are in the process of preparing funeral preparations for Imar. And um, we had met Imar in 2021 or 2020? 20, early 2021. Early 2021, we had met Imar. All right, my first encounter with Imar was on North Front Street when I was doing barbecue giveaways for Miss Ella from the Ella Jude Foundation. And um, I saw them together walking, walking. They were, they were at Lichi. They went to Lichi where they normally go. To see the Victor Hustle and Lee One Two and Lee Dara, and that's when I first met them, and they were happy for the barbecue, and I had promised them that that visit, my encounter with them that day would not be the last. All right, so <coughs> we had supported them, people had gotten to love them as a couple, especially his humor. All right, Imar's humor and his wit was always. What had people laughing? All right, and Betty never really talked much. Betty, like Fiona, all they do that laugh and grin and smile. <laughs> and Betty, <laughs> Betty had to see things for a lap. All right, so he had passed away. But um, the journey for Imar, we took him from Lichi and along with other donors and Mr. Moses South, we cannot left out Moses South. He eventually, we got him a house. All right, along with donors from abroad who helped purchase for the flooring, who helped purchase the zincs or whatever. Who helped to furnish the house. Then also with some wonderful Belizeans, Rita and her friends. Rita like in the car, but yeah, Rita and all her friends, they went out and they solicited items and furnitures and TV. He might have practically everything that a house could have could have wanted to get TV, to get sofa. bed, sofa, TV mattress, TV. pillow, sheet, fork, plate, stove, cup, TV water, TV stand. Everything that a house 
pot right down to the pot stove right down to everything and when we walk them into that house that day it was a wonder it was so beautiful and emotional to see them step into a brand new house all right so for the time that god has allowed us to have been with emar it was a wonderful journey we had our ups and downs but in the end like god had placed it upon my heart to have go and reconcile our differences and we part with you know we we did our reconciliation all right now we never got no differences but then man to man you know settle out you know bad feelings bad blood when they call it all right so he's gone to rest may the good lord you know accept him in his kingdom may his soul rest in peace and rise in glory again condolences to the family members of imar and Will to his be wife betty across? you're leaving me don't tell me what i can see Will you be bringing across um, the, the funeral service if they send if the family send me the announcements most definitely I will share it, all right? We share. The thing is, guys, what you, if you don't know, but most people know already, with us here at Ladyville Highlights, death is a very costly, costly thing to bury a loved one here in Belize. And so when it comes to death announcements and to share the information about people who pass away, we do it for free. Yeah. We not charge you, all right? We don't say, oh, yeah, be 150. Especially poor people, man. You're done the grieve, you're done up a fine, four to five thousand dollars to help bury your dead and five thousand dollars on then enough. Mm -hmm. Because with your sister, you know that, that never yeah. enough. A close to about nearly eight to ten thousand dollars, you wanna have a decent burial service for your loved one. Alright? And even with the cheapest one, sometimes you still have a fine that eight or that seven thousand dollars. So when it comes to announcing death mm -hmm. announcements on Lady Bill Highlights, we don't charge. We do it for free. Because people are ready to take one licking so that the one burden you can take off of your shoulder knowing that you don't have to advertise, you don't so charge the charge. Um, the family can contact me, man. They have my number. <laughs> Why they laugh? They can WhatsApp me. All right. I met the sister at the hospital um, this week. I was at KHMH and I met the sister. They were in a hurry. I was in a hurry. And so they said they update me. I met Betty last night. The last night you meet Betty? Night. Or night before we meet Betty? No, the yesterday. The last night? Yesterday. Yeah, last night you meet Betty. When we made the drive and... I don't know. That we meet evening we meet Betty. All right. You call her first. I call her, I never answer, but I understand. Three, four times. Grief and so we respect people during the time of grief. But we meet her. All right. And when we meet Betty, I say, Hi, Betty. You know, I always hype up here, people. And boy, Betty, I don't know if somebody will piss off Betty or what, but Betty never responds to nice. I mean, we ask her about funeral preparations and how things go, how they look. But the response I get from Betty, I decide to say, drink water, man, the whole business. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess uh, some people have. Been... You do it. Uh, you do it. <laughs> you do it. You do it. Oh, Betty, answer me if you want to. You do it. You do it. Yeah. Huh? Stop laugh, y'all. So, we do the drive, right? I had the passenger side of the, do the truck door. And I had like, yeah, Betty! You, you be Betty now. You be Betty. I did. What? What you want? <laughs> and then when it's done, it's a song. Cut the eye, man. I cut the eye. I said, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> I would feel good, like. Right? <laughs> no, it's not that. I want, I want to send condo. I want. Why you smiling till you don't feel the hell up on it? <laughs> Why, but you burn my beans. Well, I laugh at you. You laugh at me, but look, man, I don't feel, I feel, I feel bad, you know. And I couldn't even drink no water because I had a truck, so I had to just burn the business and y'all make you go. Because <laughs> y'all burn the beans. I guess. I, I that was it. not expected though. No, no, we never expect that response on her. I, I don't know why she behaved like that. I don't like know if you're upset. I don't know who upset her. <laughs> but boy, that response I get. That's not the better way I know. Why right. she was serious? Do it again, do it again. Okay, watch you. You watch me, yes, sir. I, I watch I, you like you do something wrong. So I, 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 I wonder if you recognize me or not. You recognize her, yes. 
I'm okay. You recognize you? Yeah, well, that's that. So. so that's one of the reasons why he will just wait until the family sends stuff to him. He will not go and find yeah, out. Yeah, I was, I was, that. that night when I asked Betty where it happened, it was because I wanted to know what are the funeral updates, what are the preparation, you need help or anything. I'm always willing to help people. All right? I have, we have recently buried Fiona's sister. And I know what it is like to have to deal with burial and grief. <laughs> it costs, it's expensive. Exactly. All right? That's a flat part of me, Jackie. All right? So I just wanted to see how I could help. But. Then what? Well, what? Yes. And Cotty, I too. I don't know you. I said, well, I, just like you never know, Albert. I said, well, bad book you go, girl. Go out of this, we drink, so let's go combine the whole business. Maybe the girl <laughs> vexed because you never made a car on that often. Huh? Maybe you vexed because you never made a car Yes, but right now, right, right now, the, the grief, so I, would, I wanted to see how the, how the process was going, if you going to make it way. All right? But that's it. That's it for that. All right? Um, update number two. Update number two is that I was at Kira's house this evening, and if you were on, the, if you saw the recent live I did, Kira Leslie. When I was there, up to when I was there, Kira hadn't had a decent meal for three weeks. That poor girl not eat. It body weak, 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 weak. It muscles are weak, 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 and um. I said you could open the mouth, Kira, and it, oh, it tried to do one thing, but you can't open the mouth. I said if you could eat, it said it, it eat, but like the food not go down or something like that. Plus, bear in mind, Kira has three cysts at her throat. Alright? Three cysts. They did the x-ray, and the x-ray show up, plus you could feel it. Alright? I touch it, and you could feel cyst number one, cyst number two, and system battery and whether that, that, that thing. as it grow it restrict the the, the the passageway to yourself all right and the saddest part is that you said she tired say mr albert i tired i tired my man don't understand because the massive poor kira they talk about she want dead she wouldn't give up she want go home she tired and bear in mind now that like two years she's like that all right, two years she's like that in that condition there, and then this, this don't like they got money for advanced treatment and high tech facilities to attend. They are humble, regular people. All right, you have to give me the these things. So. No, um, what somebody is saying that you should still go and check on Betty, don't let that one response restrict you. Um, uh -huh. another one said, um. She lost her husband, she's stressing. That yeah, I, gives you no reason to disrespect somebody that is helping you. Point blank. I don't believe because you distress. And then especially if you see somebody where always they assist you, they, they heal you, you that don't give you no reason to disrespect that person. Me personally, uh. I know to put my foot there because I I know perfect. I know you turn the cheek, make you box me two times. Sorry, you are box me one. And then I walk away after that. I believe we need to learn to appreciate people where they stand by our side and learn to accept advice. We need to learn to know how to talk to people. So, Betty, want to behave in that kind of way, then Betty, want to stay right there. So, anytime she ready to be respectful, then she will get the attention where it's supposed to get. But she must know, she need people. She must know that. And nobody not have to follow up behind her. So we not be a bear big woman. That our big woman, whether me a married woman too. We know what be a bear. Well, what's the comment to say? Uncle Albert had to stop, stop partying. <laughs> I like I said, like when the, when the person commenter say, maybe they need to go through grief. 
All right. So because if mm -hmm. if the you pass it and I supposed to ball at everybody will call me, you know, or if the me pass it, away you for ball at everybody, Albert, come on, for different, excuse. different, no, 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 different no, 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 That was not Betty. That was not Betty indeed, though. So when Betty behaved, that is obviously she, she, it was she a was upset it with was you. A, oh yeah. Probably this is my thing. I believe it upset with you because you didn't come around and probably never give them what they need. Maybe, maybe the man. Maybe malnutrition and all make it in because they never have who knows and maybe she upset because you never you was never there. You understand or probably something never come for there and you never gonna carry nothing. I don't know. No, 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 no. Nobody know. You understand me? But at the end <clears> of the day she can't vex with you for that. So my thing is nobody know why Betty they go um, behave them kinda of way. We don't know why they go through why they go through, but at the end of the day, she that no give her no excuse to behave the way she did. Because she actually did not answer you. You called four times. Yeah, I called four times. Four yes. times. And the reason I know she purposely did not answer you was because you called Imar's sister yeah. immediately after the second time. And she said, no man, it just come off of the phone and me how not answer you. And you said, she told you to call back No, And you called two times and that phone ring, ring, ring right so. after you. So obviously you don't want to talk to you. Then later on in the day, we buck up to her and you hear like ball out of you. Yeah. So it's on purpose. Well, like I said, different cut of cloth, my wife. Exactly. Different so cut of cloth. Make we left it like that. Yeah. And my husband not went there because I well, know like I who are crazy, right? I, I, so have, I have no problem to advertise the funeral. No, 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 we won't do that. Me and the sister have talked already and um, they can send me the information, the updates on the funeral. And so I don't mind sharing it. All right, so back to Kira now. Yes. Back to Kira. Okay, we don't exhaust the subject there already. So Kira, Kira is Sorry. in need of raising funds to go to Merida. All right. Put that. No reason to go now. Kira is giving up. Man. Kira is giving up because after those, after she's in pain. Off. She's in a lot of pain. All right. Um, these three study streets, sits like throat. Right, and then let's say like how we sit down up here, so Kira can't, Kira can't sit down like this. It, her body is so weak that if you put Kira like this, yeah, lean so, yeah, but he like two over and drop. So basically, it, it can't, for the tire, yeah, yeah, he can't sustain itself. For her birthday, we had wanted to take her out, but then if you keep carrying the chair, you might drop it out of the chair. So we don't want that to happen. All right, so what's that? No, continue. Okay. All right, so um, for you, all you Christians out there, you people who trust in God and prayer warriors, we're asking you to please pray for Kira. All right, and um, prayers move mountains, prayers change things, and we know that God still answers prayers. So please keep Kira Leslie in your prayers. And thanks to all the people who made immediate response after we did the live, right? After we did the live, somebody come there and bring two or three bottles. Mm -hmm. Of ensure, and I was there and I watched you had slick from that ensure though with our strap. Hi, <sighs> quick, quick, Hi, quick. And I tell them, I said, Look, man, you can't blame her. I don't eat for half a day, but I don't play. I better go off. And if you eat, and you imagine you will not eat one, Papa me for three weeks. All right, three true? weeks. And the mommy said they make things for him, but you don't want to eat it. Don't like, don't like food no day, though. They make things for you, but you don't want to eat it or it can't you eat it. You imagine you got three things that your throat and you to try to eat and uh, every time that lick then say her. It probably hurt the throat boy. And with tears in her eyes, I ask her, Kira, you really want dead? And what, what do you think that be your response? I say yes. I ready. Yes, I can't bear it no more. You said for me inside, I could feel my body shut down from inside. You said my man don't want me to so say I said, but I know where I feel inside. With tears in the eyes. Everybody tell her, hold on, don't give up. But she know where she did feel. She mm. know where she go through. She know the pain she did go through. Mm. For sleep, she need to take sleeping pills. Just to sleep. She need to take sleeping pills. All right. So, guys, this is also a testament that when you have your health, protect and preserve your health, especially when you're poor and black and broke. 
All right? We're not poor black and black. Please preserve and protect your health. This machine here, you don't take care of it. If you keep it up, you want to cast your money where you know that. Just to talk with the doctor at $60. Dollars. Right? Consultation fee. Just to talk at the $60. Dollars. Then when you don't talk, you got medication. And medication is not cheap. Alright, so please keep Kira in prayers, guys. Thank you for all those who have been supporting Kira. We also got a donation to go and get more insure from her. Yes, we receive a donation from Brooklyn, New York. Alright, to buy one case of insure. And also we receive a donation from Los Angeles, one of our, our friends in Los Angeles, who will also say, please, Mr. Albert, buy Kira the insure. So if you can't eat salad food, at least you could drink the insure, which is something similar to like a dishwash meal. All right, so keep her in prayers, guys, and we appreciate everyone who have been helping her so far. Next subject, Vicky Samos. Tell them about Vicky Samos next. She is a student from SCA that is in need of a kidney transplant. Today they did the barbecue. At BTL Park. At BTL Park, and I believe that they had sold out. Yeah. The barbecue they sell out from before the day of the barbecue. That's yeah, what I heard. And we we took extra stuff so they could have yep. have extra other than what they had um others for. So and all of that was gone, right? That's right. Every single thing was gone. And the Samos family is very, very, very appreciative of the overwhelming Humble support. People. Humble people, we were there in their home. Alright? Humble people who their only child, their only child has come down with not, not with just one condition, three, three conditions she lupus, has to battle. Lupus, hypertension, and the worst of all is the five end stage cancer, cancer problem, cancer failure, cancer, cancer. no love, kidney, kidney, kidney failure. Yes, kidney failure. I tell you, man, I don't get to you. I don't have my next one. But oh, I rebuke it. I rebuke it myself. 14 years old and she, fighting for yeah, life. Fighting for life. But if you look for her, you would never believe she's sick. Because she's bright. Her spirits are high. All right. As a matter of fact, today when I asked the dad, is she out there at the barbecue? He said, no, she went to she do cannot be out dialysis. There. She went to do dialysis. The thing is, with lupus, you cannot be in the sun. Oh, okay, okay. Because okay. the sun could affect you some more. It, and if you have to be outside, you have to have a lamp. You have to fully cover up. And mm. got one umbrella. But you can't sit down out there for long hours. Mm. In, in, you know, healthy. Mm. So... She couldn't be out there. If she would have been out there, they would have had to have her on, on the tent and all kind of thing. Okay. So, yeah. So she was not out there, right? Alright, so, um, we want to thank, uh, Ella Jude. Ella oh, Jude. With that man. She also sent some chickens. She sent other ingredients and stuff for the barbecue. So, big up Miss Ella from Miami for helping out this family. Towards yes. their barbecue sale. Thanks. Thanks also to the to the persons from Corozal yep. who sent, sent a cake. box of cake. Alright. To add to the sale. That's so too. To add to the to the sale. And thanks all right. to all the other donors that donated cash. And to cash. all the other donors who have donated cash, even if it's fifty dollars, thirty dollars, hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. All the money they going towards this, this family to go to Chitamal to do the compatibility test to find out if the, the daddy kidney so imagine will match the daughter imagine kidney. Imagine that they just the compatibility test so that they even the surgery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you imagine. Mm -hmm. They are hoping that by, by some chance or golden opportunity they get to go to the States. All right. The family don't have no visa, but if they have to go to America, they're going. But their first option would be to go to America to get help. All mm -hmm. right. And then I think someone had inboxed me and said that if they go to America to some uh, special hospital, they can receive the help and it will be next to free of cost. Now, to say as much as when they want the um, Merida. The father says it will cost a hundred thousand, believe right? 
Mm -hmm. That's what you tell me? The whole procedure will cost a hundred thousand dollars. Man, that's like the house and lot right there. Yes. Alright, so that's the kind of money that this family need to raise to save their daughter life. And then when I asked Vicky, I said, Vicky, where you want to be when you get big? What Vicky say? Vicky said, I want to be a pediatrician. Imagine all this bright future she has in front of her, but like just like, like, like somebody else told her it bad luck. We have to also say thank you to um, St. Catherine's Academy because they have assisted Vicky as well. Yes, the school where she attends. Yeah. All right. And the principal, Miss Tilly, say yeah. come out in full force. All right. And the school is in full support yes. of their student, Vicky Samos. So, again, a good, uh, a good cause to make a donation to would be to Vicky, Vicky Samos. All right. Mm -hmm. So that they can pay for the procedure to get the... The, the compatibility test and then eventually after the compatibility test the father and daughter can do the kidney transplant hence furthering her life all right True. what is it no okay all right Let's go to um, subject number three, Aspinal. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> what is it? A lot of people has lupus. So a lot of people have lupus. You cannot be in this. Read it. You cannot yeah, be in, in the sun. sun. Lupus. I have lupus from since two thousand. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. All right. So then, there are several Belizean suffering lupus. Then it was from two thousand seven. Wow. We have one of our donors in Miami who also yes, has lupus. Yes, who also has lupus. All right. And you see, guys, on this platform, what this platform does is that Bring like it brings awareness. Together. Like how this girl 14 have lupus. Then all those other persons who have been suffering the lupus can give hints and tips and ideas and suggestions on how her. best to deal with the lupus. All right. All right. So don't be afraid to call the family and tell them, listen to me, I'm a lupus patient for... For so much years yeah. and this is what i find that works best for me then feel free to call the family man and give yeah. them a suggestion all right so uh so I, I, I bring everybody together yeah. this platform brings everybody together and then there is also a kidney association that tells that this that is helping um Vicky. Yes. the belize kidney association the belize lupus association i saw them out there today at the barbecue all right i saw members of the belize lupus association so Again, what we do is not because somebody call me and tell me say we de, we de embarrass people when they put their story out there. And we don't embarrass, honest to God, we don't embarrass people, man. If it wasn't for this platform, a whole lot of issues and struggles and difficulties that people go through, nobody may have known people may suffer. They may have turned, they may have done dead. Yeah, true. All right. Um, probably the system may take with someone they pick me because they may can't find the means to provide or how to best care for their children. But when we bring these stories out, there are people who are willing to assist. True. Seriously, there are people who are willing to assist, and there are even Americans who they know nothing about Belize but see these stories and decide to offer assistance. To our very own Belizeans, right, the Belizea. So please, 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 it is best to try to see good in what we do and not look to see and find fault. All right? Yeah, that's true. It don't make no sense, man, for what? You okay. find fault, fault. My mommy has said, if you can't make good, no make bad. And then, warning, we have, I never tell you this, there's, a, there's like three young men who go around from district to district. They were in Corozal last night, yesterday. Somebody tell me that three young men, they go wrong and they got a picture and they say they are picnic or their family member sick, but we are collecting donations for the picnic in the name of Nidiville Highlights. No, Nidiville Highlights are only Alberta and Fiona. So, no make nobody come there with no foolishness, but then they collect in, in, in the name of Nidiville Highlights because we know how parade like that. Alright, we know how parade like that. 
we deal directly with, with people. It is a good thing. Donors. That's right. It is a good thing that the person when they gone to the one regular donor to Ladyville High, like she's from Texas and she's here in Belize. And she tell her, oh, oh, no, oh, no, we don't operate so. Little bit of so operate so. Little bit of highlights so and deal up on one on one basis. And they want to find ways and means of getting your blessings to you. For Shell, 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 Shell Carter. The Carter, Shell, um, Carter. Shell the Carter. How did we get groceries to Shell? Did we, did we catch a bus and go to the to For those us? persons that live out Explain district, to them how you work. When, when we assist those persons out this week, Albert would come and, and we would sit and look over the case when the donations come. This is how it goes. If that person is in need of groceries, I communicate with the grocery store. I pay the grocery store and they I get their ID, give it to the um, owner of the grocery store. The owner will then... When the person arrives there to pick up their groceries, the owner will get their ID and return it back to me to tell me this is the person who came for the groceries. When they're finished with the groceries, they will take pictures of that person with their groceries and a picture with the receipt given. So, mm -hmm. check and balance the day. So, me pay the grocer, you go for your groceries, the grocer will compare the same ID where I sent her mm -hmm. so that we know that the same person will deal with. They will send we the um, receipt and pictures of you with the boxes of groceries or the box of, or the bags or whatever it is you get and we will be able to see that. Um, if it is medication, first we check if the medication is a free medication. Because if it's a free medication, then we don't need to pay for it. That money could go to something else for you. So then we lead you in the direction where you can get that medication. If the medication you have to purchase, then we can deal with a um, pharmacy and we will do the same thing again. So that is how we will do it. Do, do not give your money to anybody who said that they came to collect in our name because we do not do business that way we collect ourselves and we distribute ourselves and then we make sure that we do transparency a video or we put up the pictures that have been sent to us so nobody can say they can collect for it and um, we also receive information that these people operated in Cairo and people say yes they see they in Cairo the government said that they, they, they collect money in behalf of me, they will highlight to help our people. We don't got no person to collect money on our behalf. We we'll say it again, we don't got nobody to collect money on our behalf. We try to say it, but we try to maintain our calm. We don't got nobody to collect money on our behalf. Alright? No? Not even our children will live in the house can collect money power if we behalf. Because it's a sticky situation. Alright? We don't play people. We don't play money. No, 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 money no, no, broke no, no, no. friendship. Yep, yep, yep. So if you sit there and they come to us and say, um, they can tell a call a little bit of highlights. Alright? Yep. Everybody knows we know more. We know more out there. We don't have no more. We know more out there. Call away. And if you don't answer, please have patience because I get called from all book, all over the country. Alright, I might take long to answer your message, but send a message. And I answer message before the last thing I do before I go sleep. I check the messages and I answer them and I tell me and I will say, call me back the morning. But the people ask you to tell their story, you are not doing it behind their backs. Agreed. Yeah, they told yeah. us to tell their story. So when the yeah. blessing comes, then we deal with it and we ensure <coughs> that the blessing is wrote to them. Just so that we could have transparency. As a matter of fact, we don't even use their numbers no. to make that blessing go direct to them because we have had problems in the past. I think it, it's just lately with the Samos family. Yes. Albert have used their numbers because of the situation depending on the urgency and the need of the situation and bear in mind we feel out these people they are the story is genuine 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 
and these are humble, the thing is, sincere people. When he gets his blessing, he 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 reports to us and tell us, um, yes. somebody somebody so and so, yes. you give me so and so, All right. so we know exactly what is going to the family. Exactly. All right. <laughs> embarrassing if you truly need the help. I know a long gone if not for you guys and I'm honestly grateful for still having like faith. Yes man, faith yes. And uh, we still have people who call us and say I need help, I really need the help, but I don't want to go on camera. Sorry we can't help you. Alright. Because if you don't want to put yourself Do I have there? to go on camera? Let me tell you something. And um, I'll be real with this. There are Belizeans who go to work every day in a nice uniform pose, in a nice pose. They hair well done. I've got a little makeup. But what you don't know is that these same people in this nice uniform, they sit down behind their desk, click, 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 click behind their computer. When the car do not talk it, but a lot of them people they take licking. I know because I speak to them. I don't call their names. I don't mention their stories because I want to respect some people. And they said, Mr. Albert, a shame. A shame because I work for the government of Belize. Or I work for this big company. Where the people think, say, girl, you got a good job. Good job. I got a good job, but I got bills. Mm -hmm. I got a good job, but sometimes I got to work the man without food to eat. Or sometimes I gotta work. I know. I take the little bit of money where I have and I stretch it. Figure your picnic. Figure your picnic. Figure school. Imagine I got sixty dollars. I have to stretch that. Picnic go to school and then I have also Boss. if 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 flower done, I have to go buy flower girl. The same pick the same school money. We we'll get the girl for school. Girl, let me five dollars out of that money I give for school and try to give her back before I'm married because I need like to go that. buy flower. This is already happened I Belize right now, I don't tell no lie. Serious thing. Then they are worse. There are some teachers who tell us that Mr. Magdalena, you don't know <laughs> how much picnic I feel to my own pocket, Mr. Magdaleno. I left myself. Mr. Oh. Magdaleno, when I cook my food for, for myself, I have to share my lunch with children who their parents have got money to send them to school and feed them. Mr. Magdalena, give me cold seed when the picnic ended there. Miss, Miss, Gaspi and the kill the picnic there. I've seen a child, I've seen two child, um, they, they sent me something that showed me two, ch two child sit down, literally they eat lone bread. Yes, I'll be sitting down. nothing. Yep. Pack bread. Nothing touch me. Pack bread. Bring a leaf, four slices, two for you and two for me, and it's still on. I got a lunch. I got a lunch here. 2023. Picnic still go to school, eat pack bread for lunch. So, my name even So, my name got the pack bread. Right? And then you want to know why they don't perform the way they perform the PSC. Why the picnic they behave on the behave. Are you belly hungry? Well, the child, they don't joke for dinner at school and your belly they grow for hungry. And when you just grab you, and these are children for you know. Yeah. And I'm, I show these teachers who make up lies. As a matter of fact, when they send the video, right? Only because we can't show anything there. So, Miss Look, Mr. Magdalene, pick them eat pack bread. If you have any groceries, Mr. Magdalene, please help this family because they pick them in the corner school eat pack bread. Yeah. It's sad. It's sad. And our country, they say for we country, but for we country no bro. Yeah. Hold on. Sure wrongs will come up. For we country no bro. Easter, I want to people they rush the bus. True. <laughs> Easter, people they rush How the we bus. Easter? Easter we the right home, we don't go nowhere. Then they swim. Then go swim, car things are like that. We stay home and we do we live in the highlights. We still do live in the highlights. Yes. And at Easter. Yes, right? I know Belizeans need to stop being judgmental, but the only way to stop them from being judgmental is being brave and do not worry about what they say and eventually these same persons will see you when you get your blessing and they want to know how it happened and they want in turn 
um, stop being judgmental and they want eventually want the same thing happen to them. So the idea about Ladyville Highlights is not just to have a platform but just help people. It's also to teach people how to look out for each other. You help me, I help you. Make we help them together. Because they're not the rich, they donate, you know. They're not the rich, rich, rich people in it. Yep. Donate like that. Yep, it yep. is our very well own poor people. Well I said, mean, well I said. could remember during COVID when we gone that no, a certain house. The lady said, Wait, Mr. Magdalena, want to add some rice and some flour to that thing. So, we had to give for care for that family. When I look, the lady take it five pound flour, bust it in a half, a rice, pour out half a rice in our container, and then give me the tie back the bag and give me and say, Give them that too. I was like, What? No, bearing in mind this house, when you look, when you for outside, you could see that not somebody we got it. When we walk inside, you could see that the house not all that, but the person shared. So even if a place not all that, it have one heart, one caring heart, and God will continue for blessing. So then there are the things there where we, we try to promote people helping people, people saving people, people looking out for people. Then there are the things there where we try to promote. Yep. So, yes, man. So, the family, who's the chain of talk? <laughs> yeah, you got people in an office in a nice job. You got some people that drive nice car. I hungry. <laughs> yes, the people that drive nice car and they go to the job place. Uh, buy a wife for lunch, you know what they say? Buy a wife for lunch today. I'm not going to the car, can't afford to eat lunch. All right, but um, but seriously though, we need to put the pride aside, right? We need to put the pride aside. Not suffer like that, man. Not allow your family and your children to suffer, right? And if we try our best, if you don't have to air your story, we will try our best, but 95% of the time it's best when you come in front of the camera and talk how you feel. The people living up here, the top, are the people who experience the most blessings. Yeah. Right, Fiona? Not true. They receive the most blessings because when you when you when you for when you showcase your face and your story, your story is seen by Belizeans at home and abroad. Your story is seen by non-Belizeans, Americans yeah. who are Americans. watching us. Yeah. Hey, more so and more, have more and more American have people. Americans who we donate to. Yeah, we have several Americans who donate to us. All right, black Americans, white Americans, because yes. we not we not deal with racism wrong yet. Everybody who's a believer and a child of God. Chinese. Chi Chinese, yes. Um, we have received donations from Chinese. Uh, Chinese. We have received donations from Mennonites now. No, only Mennonites. Um, who? The Indian. Not Indian. What? Turkish. Who Turkish. From the Turkish what? people who too. Who that? Oh yeah, 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 oh. yeah. Yes, yes. There's a there, there's a there's a well known restaurant in Belize. Alright, and they have been good to us. Yeah. Alright, because whenever we have our guests come to, to Belize, that's where we take them. As a matter of fact, Wait. they were so good to us that the last guest that we went to talk to have dinner 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 sit down with got a free lunch on behalf of the business. Yeah. Because it says you guys are doing amazing work. And they tell the lady, ma'am, for supporting and assisting Lady Bill Highlights, this this restaurant, I'm a call in here to man talk. This restaurant is on a, the lunch is on behalf of us. And she was like, Wow, thank you. Alright, wow, thank you. So guys, we have lots of lots of Belizeans who are now supporting Lady Bill Highlights. There was a time when it was just 95% or 100% donors were from abroad. Ah, 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 ah. The donors are right from Belize and all. <laughs> right from amongst us. Right from amongst us. And you know what I have seen? The people who give the most are the people who don't have it, Fiona. For real. The people who give the most are the, the regular people in the house. Right now, I'm going to call me from back, in, back by Antelope Extension. 
When you walk up with the $10 to the Lee boy, mm -hmm. remember the lady? He said, I'll give me $10 to help the Lee, but the Lee guy with the worm night eye. $10. Every time he said, When you walk up with the $10, you know what? $10 that might not be much for a lot of people. But, but for granny, but for granny, the car lady will have it said call for the $10. It means a lot because it reminds you of the story of the lady in the Bible. When they went to give their offering to the church, yes, Mr. Big Shot, he called it the big, big beggar money. And he poured it in at the, um, in at the collection plate. A brrrr, boy, yeah, like, kinds of drop. And the man with the poor, I pour with pride too. Yes. And then Mr. Mr. Money Man come and pour in one lady, one lady, lady walk down, lady, lady, lady try that so nobody see her because he know it broke. He know he not got it like that, but he want to give. And when they get there, you know what say? Jesus right on the side to watch the horse in the way they go out. And Jesus watch what they want to pour in a lot of money. He said one come, when they pour in, yeah, when they go on boss and drop the thing in and drop them big money. But when the lady, lady come, the lady is so shame that you know that no big money to give. You let it wrap up. You huh? take it and you hurry, put that in and you walk away fast. But no, this here. And you know what Jesus said? Jesus said, oh, see, I see you lady, you know, put in that one shilling. Alright, put it in a shilling. You see, I want to put in a shilling. She gave more than the, those who put in the whole lump sum. And the disciples said, but how do you mean, Jesus? Mr. So and so pour in nearly 10,000. Because, you know. How much you give that with the heart we will give him. with. Alright? And Jesus why Jesus said it is more blessed to give than to, than to receive. And let me tell you something. When we did the first video with Roxana, it come to me right now. When we did the first video with Roxana who have the three tumors, the first donation came at least an hour. After we did that video with Roxana, we were at, we were at the restaurant. We probably now we will carry our guests, and I got a message from a Belizean lady in Los Angeles, and I know it watch me. And that Belizean lady said, "Mr. Magdalena, that story touched me. That young lady who got them three two minor. I want to give five hundred US dollars to Roxana. I call Roxana, and I said, Roxana." I got good news to you. You say you never want to show your face. You never want to do the video. Because she, she never want to do the video, you know. I had to coax and tell her Roxana you want to get help. I had to plead and tell her Roxana I can't help you unless I show the video. As people need to see. People need to see help. who will help, who will receive the help. And one hour, so how God worked, one hour after we did the video. Roxana's first blessing was 1,000 Belizean dollars. But you think that 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 does not yet? It was not until I spoke with the lady who gave the 1,000 dollars Belize in Los Angeles. I learned that this lady not even have one job. She was give sitting at last. home. And this is not lie. Give it last. The lady was sitting at home. She saw the video with Roxana, our first video with Roxana, and she said, You know what? This thing touched me. I know how much, but I want to take family savings and them got a job. And they sent $1,000 for Roxana. Ladies and gentlemen, Belizeans at home and abroad, that lady at Los Angeles, give them money with them. Good heart. Two days later, that lady called me. I know what that lady told me. Mr. Magdalena, you would not believe it. After I gave that money to Roxana, the following day, I got a call, two calls for two jobs. Mm -hmm. And uh, the money that I gave Roxana, I made it back in less than two days. Yep. That the whole God work. Think the play? We have witnessed that to our own self. I never know. You see, you have no idea. The, 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 the dynamics that takes place when you follow God's instruction. Man, if God said to do it, do it. He know why he said to do it. If God said it is more blessed to give than to receive, 
Look at everybody want blessings or not. But the easiest way to receive blessings, go ahead. The easiest way to receive blessings, it's simple. Give to those in need around you. Yeah. And the blessings will come back. And if you don't come back to you, yeah, come, you back come back to your picnic. Or to your grand picnic. Or to your grand picnic. Yeah. Alright? So don't be afraid to give. They want to wait self, and I want to let go. Hold on. Hold on. Next Hold on. Thing. Go ahead. Those persons who believe that they can just go and get services, and while getting services, they call Uncle Albert earlier, they will highlight and say, please call you one minute, and when, they, when you get this up, they expect that we for pay for their services. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Don't worry. Got me here. <laughs> Please, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. that foolishness no one happen again. Please note when you go go get service uh -huh. for any way. <laughs> uno make sure you got uno money in a uno pocket for pay because uno go in a jail. <laughs> Can we not give immediate assistance? <laughs> Are you are left right there. Uncle Albert happens to save the person. But no mm. another one. Mm. No another one. And little that that person knew it was our lunch money. <laughs> so I just want well, to know. You have to explain. You have to go back. We whine and come again. <laughs> where the talk about? Because nobody can understand where No, talk you are telling where, <laughs> where we talk about. But what? Or so we like dark horse when you're done broke down. You show me. Let me raise up. Tell the people that we're talking about now Had a DNS or sit down with me long face and all eat But I don't know, I don't want to come out it Don't mind the side of stuff I say I don't mind give but I don't mind I don't like when people put me on the spot like that Or put we on the spot like that You want to tell any story, come I say we're at that house Alright, so here we go, alright <laughs> Hey, my friend, I don't mean to put, put you out like that, right? But you kind of kind of catch me after that. Please don't do it again. But it's a way going on, right? You're not going to One of the persons who we had supported in the past went to extract a tilt. I have to use my power English. They went to extract a tilt. They get in the dentist chair and the dentist pull out the tilt. Knowing fully well they don't have all the money to pay for the extractor. They don't have the money, don't have all the money <laughs> to pay for the tooth extraction. And so he called me and asked uh, if I could do something, I could help. Now all I have the my lunch money for me and my dinero. Call for you now. I call when they, when they call like that, I put them off you know, to like call for you now. I'm in a meeting, I couldn't deal with that. If you're not in a meeting, so you're not going to deal with it. Now, I also got a call from a, from a gentleman who was coming to Belize, another um, American guy who was coming to Belize to do some giveaways as well, right? And um, every, I depend on the call and buy my phone, just blow. Bring, bring. The dentist will know when they are coming. Bring, Yeah! Then they disturb the car. So when I get to the dentist, eventually I get to the dentist. Y'all don't have all the teeth. The dentist said, then you're like. <laughs> I said, <laughs> I said, mister, how much you want you? Tell us, take all the teeth. I tell her, I don't pay the balance. Nah, you take it out, you put the teeth back. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the dentist that you gotta take it out. You put it in your back. <laughs> well, you gotta take it out for if you never got out of here, buddy. <laughs> right? <laughs> but I can't. I got a heart on a candle on a plate, so. <laughs> so you left a lady hungry because <laughs> you gotta pay for your teeth. So I tell the lady, man, if you, if you, don't put, if you can't put it in back, call the police. <laughs> call the police today, you will tell us, you will have all your teeth. Boy, if we. We people are easy, you know. 
Anyhow, we can't want to embarrass yourself and you know, I just take the two hours and I pay for the teeth and pan. Then this one, no, make can forget about it. No, because you Lord start man. to engage in any kind of thing. But then... Then how you can sit in front of me when you don't know? <laughs> you don't want to tell me that the way you do. I put a look. I didn't mean to laugh. <laughs> no, you can't, you can't, can't sit in front of me <laughs> in my office now. I should be able to eat. Be able to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I use the last twenty dollars just now, <laughs> and then he see one had to tell me, cause I put off a on me. I say you want to tell me where you use it, pan, because obviously you look guilty. Well, so hey. you want to tell me where you do? I said so okay. So you pay for it, so I don't eat. <laughs> Double J D. What would Jesus do? Double J D. <laughs> Jesus will pay for it. Eat. You know if your wife meet the money? Kai <laughs> surely never had breakfast. No, I don't mind give away self. We don't mind give away last. But people must learn that enough to yeah. put up on the spot like that. But I do not do that. Call with the day before and say, man. I, I need this and I got pain. Please help me with so and so and so. No, that I can't understand. Yeah. You understand? That one, that one, that one, that one, but then for you get this or get the service and then when you done, why I say you know, God know why your heart soft and it get true to you, you know. Because with me, I mean I walk right out. Take your lick because you never feel me do them people that where you're going in and people like chair the fuck. Me no play the well, kind of game no, 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 no. Dentists provide the service that when you come out, they yes, give you your bill. Yes, they provide service if you have money for pay. Yeah, but how do you know you don't have no money for pay? Anyways, my people, <laughs> anybody else. I mean, I put back the teeth. Anybody else. Suck right back you. Anybody else that is thinking or even have the slightest thought <laughs> that they want to put Uncle Albert on the spot like that or put Auntie Fiona well you're not know, put me on the spot then I never put me on the spot that he never try to put on the spot that he will take the lick you know because he's not supposed to entertain their foolishness there. <laughs> I don't entertain people in their foolishness they want to stay there and take a lick because right, that's the way you're not supposed to do Miss Flo said uh, that is something my husband would do too yes I know <laughs> I know he would do it but come on man Huh? Not the last at that moment spot pan the spot like that. Then what we have to sit on like Jesse Face and the cat no cause yeah. So <laughs> but I mean not get me wrong, I have a good heart as well and I always willing for help and there is times when we give ourselves, literally give we last. Yep. But make it be part for we terms. You know, force we if you have to do it. Yeah, I can't kind of force my hand if that's that time. You're not force if you have to do that kind of thing. There. That thing wrong. That's the whole reason why I bring it up on the live because I want it to not happen again. Because I want her to tell about it. And I still have to tell her about it. I still will say something to that person. Alright, next, next subject. Aspinal. Bed sore man. First of all, with the Aspinal scenario, I want to say first, no respect to Mr. Zelaya. Mr. Zelaya. You see? What? I need to hold the money and make you have to come to me. You see what I tell you, give me all? <laughs> Behave yourself. <laughs> Mr. Aspinal has this huge bed sore, and um, Mr. Zelaya has been working with bed sore for quite some time with his son. And he have tried everything and he have found out a way and a method on how to cause bed sore to heal and to, to get back to his normal regular position, right? So what I decided to do was say, you know what? Since Mr. Mr. Zelaya have the skill and the know-how to, to bring back bed sores from those you know, terrible conditions to a better condition, why not utilize Mr. Zelaya's skills in to helping out Mr. Aspinal. All right, so I think they, are, they they don't start already from this week, and Mr. Zelaya's report is that the bed sore. First of all, it not stink again. 
so the stench is gone all right because every day he goes there about 11 o'clock and he treats mr aspinall's bed sore mm -hmm. and um he teaches him how to best care for his bed sore all right so mr z big up yourself enough respect mm -hmm. brother all right and and he pledged to do it until the sword and heal and he do it free of cost free all right he not charge mr aspinall because and he promised that he will he be there with that him they, 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 until the that sword sword heal. are healed so this is a project that we will work with the look fan because we want to see this bed so heal, all right. And um, I also put his number out there, and other people are now contacting Mr. Zelaya to help them with their bed sore because there's a that's another thing again. A lot of people are home bedridden and sick, but a lot of people are also suffering from some deep, big, huge bed sores, yeah. And I understand that bed sores are painful for you now, yep, they think painful. All right, and if not properly treated, then they start letting out juice and blood and matter, and then they start stink. Mm -hmm. Like when we catch Mr. Aspinall, that he want to get so stink and terrible that the neighbors in the apartment complex start to come out and so yeah, they so and then so and then they if they either they move or the landlord, they put the landlord, they think about putting out of the building. All right, and so the landlord said, hey, "Listen to me." We are coming up with our plan. We are take you out from amongst the regular tenants and put you in the back by yourself. All right, which is another challenge again too because it's not feasible. Why it's not feasible? It's not feasible because I well, firstly, I had asked for a quotation because I wanted to see what it would cost to retrofit that to um. To, to, to accommodate Mr. Aspinall because like the landlord said he doesn't have the money to fix the place for Mr. Aspinall mm. which was fine so we looked on it and we said well maybe if he can get help to retrofit the place to suit him then maybe if donors help him then maybe he can live rent free until that money is finished mm -hmm. But when I get the estimate, I just really sit and watch that estimate this morning and that estimate is far above what I think it should be. And so it is not feasible. However, um, the landlord told me that if we help out, then he only could give back $750. Uh -huh. Which is not feasible. So I was spent at me and all the donor where I spent five thousand dollars to retrofit this place and then you only want to give back seven hundred and fifty dollars that's not feasible it is my thing that let us take the guy from that place and put her in or somewhere else because he he said he will not change his mind he wants him out of the downstairs so we need to find somewhere for the man go so that that the bottom line with that story we have to move him from that location that the man went out oh, he was he owed two weeks back rent his rent is eighty dollars a week eighty dollars a week because right. i think it pay for the fact that i think the bed where the sleep one for the for the place oh, see, i don't know that i think something in there apparently when you rent the place yeah, to everything where they have to provide for you you pay one five dollars extra one ten dollars extra and that that the reason why it rented at eighty dollars oh okay. he made the one spell he made the pay for fun too yeah he made the pay for rent to a fun too <laughs> so all the thing they saw um we have to get him out of that area <laughs> and put her in our other areas where we're more feasible because paying five thousand dollars to knock up our thing I mean, I not see it feasible because at the end of the day, you only make this man live out seven fifty, and you want to start collect for them, but you never even spend a dollar, or you never spend that amount for, for, yeah. for, for basically um, retrofit that place. On the bright side, we want to thank the people like Miss Ella again, who sent a stove, yes. and I just thank for Aspinal, because Aspinal, when Aspinal called, as a, matter, as a matter of fact, Aspinal was calling me for a whole week straight, you know. I just, I missed the call, or I get busy. And I decided, you know what, I was going to ask for that one. And when I get the hospital, I tell you the situation that um, they want to come out of the police cars. 
the place smells bad because of his bed sores and he never got no school uh, as a matter of fact he named he and that's when Miss Ella heard the story and Miss Ella decided to send the stove, send the gas tank. We pay for, out of a donation he received, we pay, we buy gas for the gas tank. And then the following day, Miss Ella sent pot, pot, mm -hmm. um, pan, frying pan. Miss Ella sent for seasoning, beans, yeah. rice, chicken, so you could start cooking one food. All right? Sometimes in life, all people want our lead push, show me some love, show me that you care, somebody that somebody care. Because he alone in that room, he tell me in he tell me off camera, he said, Mr. Magdaleno, you'll never believe me, say but sometimes me one most of the time, me one alone in this room, no radio, no TV, no nothing. I said the devil mess in my head, Mr. Magdaleno. He said the devil tell me nobody like you. Nobody care about you, but I'll take your whole life. He said, and he fight it. He said, he fight it. He said, no, no, no. I'm going to take my whole life. I mean, you can't walk. You can't get up and say, but I'm going to take a walk. Because you can't walk. Your walking ability is gone. So that in itself tells you, the man says you don't know what this, people got you mentally. This put you some kind of depression. Then beside that, he said, I do all night, I don't sleep. <coughs> Then he got all right and he said he wants the sun rays. He said, I've been man into a den and he get in, get in and he goes and get in and he sleep. And every 15 minutes, if you watch the, if you go back and watch the videos with Mr. Aspen and Albert Solman, every 15 minutes you see how do so? Because he's a pain. He's in a pain, the pain. And I said, Bed sores ain't hurt. His bed sores ain't hurt. And spasms as well. So I said, Mr. Aspen and him get massage too. I said, What happened? He said every 15 minutes the pain drop and then the pain like it make the whole body get locked up and stiff. And the only way you could ease the pain is when it pull the head up and then it bend it back, bend it back. And then when they try to endure it. You imagine that? And then the devil, the enemy, alright, who whose sole agenda is to steal, kill and destroy your soul, my soul, whisper in the ears and tell her nobody loves you. Look how mm -hmm. you there. Huh? Look how you there. Nobody care about you. But you take your own life, you're there to suffer. Take your own life, you rest, at least you get comfort and ease. Mm -hmm. Then there's the thing when you go through that young boy brains. Fate said the sickness depressing bad. All right. She can tell. I feel, I feel the right thing. You say if they're not for her kids, she may give up a long time. Yeah, a real thing, a real thing. Right? So when, when, December of 2017 when the inspiration of God came to me in that still small voice and said you will see how much people I will bless through you no lie sometimes people walk up to you for you and say you remember me help me do you remember that sometimes remember people walk up to me and come to me Mr. Magdalene if I never see you I know me I received this or so this time I happened to me and and as there's a lot above I don't remember. So then I would tell me a lot other additional advice. stories. That would give me additional to Oh yes, yes, yes. So I mean guys, there's so much cases we have dealt with and people we have helped. It's too numerous to mention. Because yeah, it's countrywide. Alright? Good news. This week Shella and her brother last week sorry. Shella and her brother decided that with all the blessings that they have been receiving through the Edible Highlights, they said God has finally answered their prayers. You know what they decided to do? They baptized. went and got baptized. Yes. Punch out for God, boy. God deserves a punch out. Big up, big up, big up, big up. I never, you, did you tell him I baptized? I never tell him I baptized. It was not until when I see one video come to me. Hi, Mr. Magdaleno. I thought to send you a video that me and my brother, we decided that because of the blessings and God is hearing our prayers, we have decided to get baptized. We call the pastor and they kill it for and they baptize, baptize them. Um, Giovanni get baptized in a wheelchair. Yeah. They carry the wheelchair as close to the water edge. And then two guys, they hold on because Giovanni can't walk. Giovanni blind. 
Giovanni is suffering with a tumor on his brain that has affected his sight. And if it's, I think he's throwing him a stroke too. But mm -hmm. Shelda, who lovingly cares and provides for her brother, he said, Brent, I will get baptized, you will get baptized too. In the hope, yeah. we never know, baby God performs a miracle. Yeah. And both of them get healed. Yeah. Hey, <clears throat> I would doubt it. I would not doubt it because they place their trust in the Almighty God, in Jesus Christ. All right. So the blessings of Lady Bill highlights is not just material things. It's not just uh, getting help, Money. but we are actually Love seeing caring. people lives changing, God. and people are not turning to God. Our people are not trusting God because. The evidence is there. The evidence is there. And this has nothing to do with red politics nor blue politics. Nor which party we belong to. No, this church. is a God thing. This is not a political thing. And I must say to the people who are so, so hell-bent by thinking that we have interest in politics. We do not have no interest in political aspirations. Absolutely none. All right, so please, there's no reason to fear Mr. Albert or fear Fiona. We don't got no interest in the politics because when God told me to do this program, the last thing the voice of God said was, keep my work out of politics. And it's rough because sometimes decisions are made that is trying to like be against us because they fear who maybe the one the other man go jump into politics i have no interest in politics i have zero interest in politics none yeah. but if the political persons of the day are in power we give no respect we give their respect everyone everyone and every respect no color. Color. color me and me and miss me and mr ferguson with a friend all right with a black man i like with a friend me and father and a friend all right, Green, yeah, me are yeah. um, buddy, another guy here. Me and Mr. Leal, a friend, we buck, we punch out together the basketball, the civic. I don't see political parties, I see my brothers at the way I see. I don't see political parties, I don't see political red or blue. I see my brother in Christ. People. All right, God use them to do a different aspect of the work of help people, then that's fine. But we will not, we not brand yourself in a no red and blue thing, man. This is Jesus. And this is the same problem Jesus had, you know. Yeah, right now. This is the same problem Jesus had that's when they crucify up on the cross. Hey, check this out. Last thing before I, I just give, tell you that. <laughs> last thing before I say, before I give you another mic. When, <clears throat> when they got Jesus in front of the court, the pilot said, Listen to me, man. It is traditional that every year around this time we release a prisoner and we kill somebody. So, today we have Jesus and today we have Barabbas. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> what do you call it? I apply for your job. Uh, Jesus resume. The resume of Jesus. Well, he healed the blind. He caused the the, the, the blind to see, the lame to walk, the deaf to talk. Uh, yes, man, it turned water into wine. The man have wine skills. The man turned water into wine. The man make the make Lazarus come back from the dead. So I'm giving you Jesus here. Now on the other side we have Barabbas. By Barabbas are a rapist. Barabbas are a jack to pay the night. Barabbas are a rape to pick day. Barabbas are a booking on the house. We're going to go for a key trip. Barabbas are booking on the house. Barabbas want to start problem and insurrection. Who would want? What do you think the people have? Barabbas. Give with Barabbas. Man, when the people have, when the people have give with Barabbas, from Barabbas, what? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you want Barabbas. Barabbas, smile. What's the boy? They want, they want me? Who do you really want me? You don't, you don't know, you don't know my character, right? You don't know my resume. You don't know my rap sheet. <laughs> yes, give us Barabbas. 
So Pilate said, oh, I want to do this one. Crucify him. Yes. The same man who give their eyesight. The same man who make their walk. The same man who say, we make their, the sword in this and each, each gun. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, we don't talk about each, each and sword. Ten and they come with each, each and sword. Ten lepers, the Bible says, come to Jesus. And just, yeah, Jesus, and heal, clean. Jesus, 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 pass, 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 pass. Ah, they clean. Only one come back and say thanks. One. One. Brothers and sisters, before I give you another mic, we don't look for no earthly rewards here on this earth no. from this uh, organization that we live under by man. The reward for the little highlights is yeah, up really. there. Yeah. Where up, uh, rust, nor mat, nor nothing cannot, nor teeth can't destroy it. The little highlights might have nothing right now, but one day, we will hear a word say, Well done, good and faithful servant, come into my kingdom. So, we know might get selected to know special award upon this earth. Yeah? I know you expect it. You expect it? I don't expect it. I know, I know even remember huh? some of the people who helped. <laughs> I don't remember some of the people who helped. Because I will help and move and on. Move on. Help and move on. We know what. Help and move on. Lead them down the path when they need to go. Teach Man. them how to help somebody else and move on. So the people who actually pick for um, JP. So people call to me, Mr. Magdalena, you like JP? No. I don't know, just AM. Albert Magdalena. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, think so? You don't know, think so? <laughs> Yeah, that thing said the people who run things that they would have said, let's select Mr. Magdalena, Mrs. Mandela with JP. Hmm. JP? No, Mama, I don't know JP. I have AM or FM. Hey, where are you? Yeah. Albert Magdalena or FM. Fiona Magdalena. Anti Meridian and Frequency Mode. FM Radio. But, like I say, we don't expect no earthly rewards here. No. Our rewards are stored yeah, up there. Yeah, yeah. The Father Jesus said, I have gone to prepare a place for you. That where I am, Albert and Fiona, you may be also a Jesus in life. Fiona, your turn. Okay, um, Mother's Day event. Um, the flyer is already out on the um, on the Highlights. Highlights Facebook page. Yep. I know there were questions when we use the word child. Child does not mean it has to be a child under age, but also it can be somebody above 18. It could be a teenager. It no matter. Once you nominate your mother, you're that person's child. So that that in that context we write it. So it no matter your age. Age does not matter. You can nominate your mother. You could 50 years old and you are nominated your, your, your um, 80 year old ma. That fine with me. All you need to do is do a short, a little video telling us exactly why your mother is the perfect candidate. We will take 10 nominations in no matter what part of Belize. Corozal to PG, we will take 10 nominations of which 3 persons will win. However, you know, we always try to bless everybody. So, we will. the deadline for these nominations is the 6th of April. After that, we know the techie, nobody else, we will just look for our winners. You can send the video to Little Ladyville Highlights Messenger, or you can send it to 623-1373 or 626-0570. Um... I think that's about it. We have surprises for these mothers. Yes, prizes and surprises, and I think it will be a wonderful day. So, they should be prepared to spend the day with us. When the mother's day, can you say April? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, May. May, sorry, yeah. May. Six May. Of Six May. Of May. Six sorry, of sorry, May. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Thanks, Miss Sandra. May. Yes, um, where. The, the prize that the three winners will get, it will be on the 13th of May. I, that is 14th of Mother's Day too. Mm -hmm. But anyways, 
the 13th of May is when we will do our special. So we not interfere with the Sunday. Mm -hmm. So you can still be with your family on that day and you can carry on as per normal on that day. So we will take the Saturday, which is the 13th of May. So. Who <laughs> <laughs> said what? No, no, I remember Sharon, man. Sharon said, hey, you have some people going up there and they watch me every move. Yes. Sharon Forbes got a thing with party like me, me, me. Yes. <laughs> Sharon, I know they watch Sharon. I know they watch. Yes, yes. Sharon thanks and, for the clarity. Sharon and Sydney in Los Angeles. Thanks to the thanks to the clarity, Miss Sandra, if they're in Miami. Hey, you know, when I was living in Los Angeles, I never know that jack nobody. Me never know nobody, 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 nobody. nobody. And now that I'm back home in Belize, I not only know people in Los Angeles, I know people in Atlanta. I know people I'm in over. Chicago. I'm Tara Sheel and her I'm sister. Missing. I know people in New York City. I know people in Boston. Boston, Massachusetts. My friend what? Karen. <laughs> yeah. I, hey, God is good, you know. Massachusetts. God is good. This um, <laughs> July 8th, my son Abner will be graduating from Fauché High School. He recently was in Atlanta. They were doing um, university, um, visiting sourcing. university sourcing in Atlanta. All right. One of my greatest desire, I, I was trying, I was trying my best, and I hope I I I look how I want to say this. I want to say it will come out good. With all the assistance we have been giving to people throughout this country, just me and my wife, with the help of the donors at home and abroad, I was hoping and I still have that desire in my heart that my country believes. And the people in charge of the Foreign Affairs Department would speak to the U.S. Embassy to grant me that just three days to be in Los Angeles, to be there at my son's graduation. And I'm hoping that somebody could hear and tell me that man has done so much for the country, at least give that man that golden opportunity to go and see his son walk down the aisle at Fauché um, Auditorium, where the graduation will be. I just, they could send somebody to me, you know. The Foreign Affairs Unit or Department of Belize can send somebody to me. I don't mind, they, they, they could put that one thing for me and I don't want to run. I cannot plan to run. All I want to do is to see my son walk up for that graduation. And I said, son, I want to try my best. I want to even ask the government of Belize to help me. I mean, I've seen other people who have done far worse than me make it back to America. And all I'm asking. Make me give you a little break for when they are more. When I'm a wanga for their awards, alright. I never give it for their awards. The rule is the rule. My son has been on NBC News. One Belize boy has been on NBC News. My son is friend with the mayor of Los Angeles Mayor Black or Bat or Bat or something like that. My son has done excellent. And I always share it and share it. And all I'm asking is for my country to speak to Washington if possible. On, your on my behalf. Asking, asking permission. Grant the man three days. First day if you fly in, second day if you attend the the, 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 the third day if you exit. And the third day if you exit. That's all I want. I don't want one month, two months, three Maybe days. Maybe a week at the big part. Maybe a week at the big part. Three days to be there by my son. To take picture at my son's graduation. I know I did wrong. I did wrong because I went to get him enrolled in his school. The boy born there, you know. He's a citizen. But I know I did wrong because I wanted him to get ahead in school. And so he was functional, and I left. I left while I was, I left before the, or after the time I was supposed after to After the time. So in other words, in short, I will But But help me now, please. Please, I beg. That's all I ask for. I never ask for country for nothing. I never ask for a GAP status, and I ask for nothing. But all I ask for is attend my son's radiation. All right?
they said to you, we have nothing to do with US Embassy when it comes to local. Yo, somebody could talk to somebody if you really want to, man. That's how I see it. Somebody could talk to somebody. I mean, the evidence is out there, man. I don't want a bad person. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to bring no bomb. I just want to be there with my son at the graduation service. But if I can't go, you're not going to go, son. I will you know? definitely. I know you definitely go. You know, but um, it is what but it is. It, will, it wouldn't be the same as if you go. I know, right? Yes, I could it be is, there. It is, it is but what it is. It's not the same as if the father is there. Somebody tell me, make a write one letter to the um, foreign foreign affairs foreign 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 affairs minister, no? and provide the documents, and then we simply go for it. But somebody tell me, say, hey, what's a great person tell us now? Please have nothing to do with it. Yeah. You know? Three days. Three days. That's all I asked for. Three days. You could tell ten people with me. And I I just saw it three days. Day for fly, the event the following night, I fly back home. Three days. Well, anyhow, um what we got to do now next? That's, that was it. That's it? Alright, so uh what time now? Wow. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Alright, so it's 11.02. What time is it in the States, guys? One o'clock. One o'clock? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you probably saying no? <laughs> what time is it in the States? Can, can we still do our karaoke? It's a, it's a 11.03. Late. It's late. It's late. It's late. It's late. You want to lift it? Or? We claim it already and we prayed about it. But it's left up to those people to make their decision now. What? Um, people say just claim it, and you know. All right, so it's one. Andrea says it's one one a.m. So, and ten o'clock in at some. And ten o'clock in some other places. Ten um o three where Joe Novi said at ten o three in LA. All right, um one a.m. Miami. All right, so what we are doing? We are we are, are signing off, and then we have to just start the earlier Las because. Las Vegas at ten. Yeah, we don't want to have New York people. New one. Alright, because you know some people have to get I up the morning. Should we continue and do the karaoke or just relax and call it a night? Alright? Should we hey, hey that we are here yeah. to serve? And um guys, you see me Lee Green screen. One day I claim it and I name it. One day we will have a fully functional functioning screen. I'm in studio. Alright? And I can see screen the back and think the move and think on the side. And then by people faith. are right and for entertain you no know, better. Yeah, and then we could do the live skits, have a bigger space. Because we love this. And what you don't know you is say that. You're a dancer, you know? No, you're dancing, nobody. No, you're you a dancer. That is that. You're a dancer. You know, I can't dance, so you know I can't dance. We were dancing. <laughs> what you guys don't know is that we come on this Nine show. in Alaska. Nine o'clock in Alaska? Yes. For real? Oh, we want to say good night to our special friend in Texas, all right, who have um, helped us out to make a nice connection there. She will be sending us clothing and um, other stuff to give away in our giveaways. So to our friend in Texas, good night to you. And thank all right, you. and thank you, thank you, our friend in Texas. Thank you so much. We talked to our live and it, it get emotional because I'm not to speaking with Fiona. Everybody like talking to you, now. To feel? Feel like I'm not laughing, man. That's why people like talking, you know? Right? So, good night to you, my friend in Texas. Our new donor who has decided that for 18 years she has been praying. She wants to give back to her country in Belize for 18 and years. God her and prayers. God answered her prayers when she found the little highlights. And she says, God, you don't know so how happy I am. That I am now be able to give back to the place where I grew up in Belize to you guys. Alright, she cried, she cried. And then we made connections with the with the owner of the freight company in Spanish Lookout. Alright? So with God's help, everything will be working good. Thanks again to France in Shipyard. Alright? Who had bought that wheelchair for Giovanni Carter in Libertad Village. All right, yeah. Giovanni has his own wheelchair because a Mennonite believer in Christ yeah. bought him a wheelchair. All right, again, tell you, the not rich people they buy a thing, you know. 
I know rich people they donate business to Business people, hard working people, hard working poor people. business people, poor people they give to me. Alright, people where they people where they are state they mind somebody else. People were sick, people. Alright, people were sick. One of our donor, Carol. Carol sick, Carol got brain, something with the brain, but Carol still sent to us. Right? Carol still sent Mr. Max that they sent so and so and so. We have our friend in Chicago who does dialysis three times for the week. She still supports me with highlights. So the other rich Malta. people they help me. Alright. Seven o'clock where? Malta. Seven a.m. to Malta. So guys, it's late. We are calling to our night. Thanks for tuning in. We love. We love you. And thanks for the person from Alaska. Yes. They will continue to assist. The person in Alaska, right? For mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Um, she will help Roxy. Alright, and it show me snow. I see snow in Alaska. You can't jump on it. Though. One of these days, one of these days. You can't jump on the guy and lick your hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, this week also was a sad week because uh, we had we went to Fitzroy's. Oh yes. Fitzroy's um week. We met a whole, a whole lot of classmates, the, the family. Condolence to the friends and family. Police defeat the police force. All right. On the last of a good Belizean uh, police officer, Mr. Fitzroy uh, would. All right. So, again, condolence to the family of the yeah, award. Anything else you need to mention? I, th I think that's it. That's it, right? All right, guys. So, um, remember now, if you don't want to show a face my video, you can't get help. And remember now, if your car where we don't answer, don't give up. Mm -hmm. Car left a message. And don't get back and say, look, I cannot want to help me. No, 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 that man, we're hand full. Sometimes we are not home on your house until up at 10 at night. And when you're asking for assistance, please be prepared to show your documents, your especially documents. if it is medical, All right. if it is education. Please be prepared to show your documents. <laughs> Even though I see those documents, I still do my administrative checks. We do background checks that you don't know about. All right, just so, because we want genuine people to get help. It is our job at Ladyville Highlights to ensure that our donors are not taking advantage of people work hard for their money. It is also our duty to ensure that you are not taking advantage of. So we we try to be as fair as possible. But if we look out for you, we have to look out for the donors too. That's right. So at the end of the day, make sure everything <coughs> for you get together because we believe in a transparency. And when people they give, they must know what they're giving to. Respect, good night, and um, pray for it. All right? That just me to pray for it. Yep. Pray for we pray for the foundation, pray for the volunteers, and pray for those who pray people for who are with the help. We have Des who just come out, who still is up. They um, they recover from a stroke. Des Faith Des, pray for Kira, who needs a lot of prayers. Pray for Faith, Faith needs a lot of prayers, and pray for Aspinal with his bed sore. Also, let's not forget Vicky, Vicky Samos and her dad. Please pray for the family. All right, good night, guys. Bless good up. Night. Take care. <laughs> Miss Mario, I wanted you to mention something on the raffle. Yes. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Come on, good. All right, one more thing before we go. I was to mention that side. Go ahead. It's Mar, forgive sir, me. Miss Mar. Mar, 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 forgive me. Our friend in Houston, Miss Marie Therese Vernon, all right, mm -hmm. has set up a raffle. That is in support of Ladyville Highlights to help us to, to cover pay off for, for the van. We already have the van we utilizing the van, but we need to pay back pay off for it. Alright, so Miss Marie is having a raffle. I think about half the tickets have gone, but I think you still have more tickets. So if you're interested 15, uh, 15, US, 15 US per ticket. 15 US so per if you ticket. if you live in the States and you want to buy a ticket, then please US. go on uh Messenger inbox Miss Marie Therese Vernon, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Have it correct? Yeah, I think so. Alright, and she will have the give you the information on how to get tickets, alright? So again, by purchasing a ticket, you get to go to La Rubea. 
La Robert Hotel in La Robert Hotel. Hotel. Two nights, right? Two nights stay. Two in nights La stay at La Robert Hotel in Placenza Dinner. Marie Therese Leslie Vernon. Marie, that's the, that's the um, Facebook page, so go and check it out. She has the tickets, alright? So your support will help us to cover the cost for a van. And if you right. win, you get to win two nights in luxury. Yeah. All right. And please note that um, <coughs> we had to do this because of the fact that um, we did send out 32 letters, but only the, the, the names that we called were the only responded. names that responded and assist us. Um, since then, we have gotten no other assistance. So, and I purposely sent those letters out because I wanted to see how in tune is our Belizean Business Society in helping out organizations that give back yeah and all right and a everybody couple, a couple um like one of them um did not give us a donation but they gave this. us service yes um uh, they gave us an account uh -huh. with discount so that Caribbean tires, Caribbean right? Tires, yes. right 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 so um that discount is for a lifetime good so excellent to service the van yeah all right so so but I, those were the only donations we could have asked for donations from abroad you know but i said you know what let's see how will our business sector and belize respond let's see how our representative the, 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 that word representative they're not an easy word you know representative would have responded to our request for help to pay off the van zero zero even that's why I don't want to help me get my visa. <laughs> we can't talk bad about it. But a two, a two, zero. All right? I don't know why we call a representative if they're not a represent. Okay. Represent who? They're asking me, um, what if the person you're nominating is not your mom? If the person you're nominating is not your mom, then you have to show me, um, probably it's an aunt that raised you it's a granny that raised you maybe it's your stepmother that had you from you were small we will accept that because at the end of the day that's still your mother yep but they're really they mind you they're more into the person you are but they're that's still do. your mother that it could be one godchild where they give a godmother and that that the godmother will raise you that's still your mother we will accept it all right so i think Thanks so. What's that? You know, I don't know because let me ask. All right, La Robea Resort two nights for two breakfasts included. That's it. Yeah, so it could be for a couple. It could be for two persons. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, somebody will ask how Betty, and I get no response. Um, it's gonna keep me there. So Betty, how is Betty doing? Well, Betty the grieve. Yeah. Betty is grieving so much that she didn't want to leave. Right, better degree. We tried to get information for her, but her response was very negative and kind of disrespectful. So we know to push the issue. Yeah. However, if we do talk, we have communicate with the sisters. But I think yeah. we're be a better person to talk with than Betty. All right. Okay. I we good. I think that's everything. I think. I guys, thank you everything. guys so much. Remember, if you're in Belize, give us a call. All right. We can hang out for a night. They draw me a fifth. Okay, so May 5th, the raffle will be joined. All right. The number of the Bolido here in Belize will be the winning number for the raffle in Texas. That's right, that's right. Yeah. So remember now, write down the number where you buy for the Lady Bill yes. Highlights raffle. All right? All right, write down the number where you buy for the Lady Bill Highlights raffle. And if you win it, the states, but you can't come, then give it to one of your family, man. Give some money. All right, give up, give up, give up, give one of your cousin or so, with my radio or somebody, as a treat. Yeah. All right. Your treat today to go to La Rubia Resort. Er, er, you can give me my can give it to a pan um, to the mothers. Oh yeah, give it as a gift. If you don't by want the way, it, give me by the way, the way, what kind of gift you have for your mothers? Um, we're having. I want to be surprised. All right, all right, all right. Because hey, remember, yeah, big, yeah, big, yeah, big, yeah, big. It will be surprise. Yeah, big, yeah, big. I will not give it away. Yeah, big. Because we will capture once a win. Whether you win or not win, we will capture every moment and every segment of that because it is special for those 10 nominations. Yeah, big. So we'll capture every single moment of it.
So you will see it and you will have it put on our page. Yep. So um, if you win, definitely everybody will see your nomination. So that's what that's where I will leave it. I will not say much. We'll go from there. Good night guys. Love it all. Bless up.